What's going on guys? 8BigLit79 here and we're going to do something a little bit different today. I've got three mystery bags. What could be in them? Okay guys, so what this is, is mystery bags from a store called Bull Moose. Bull Moose is a chain uh, store. It's in, I believe, just the New England area, mostly northern New England from what I understand. And this one's about 30, 40 minute drive from me north in New Hampshire. And what it is, is it's a store that sells music, movies, books, video games, all kinds of media, both uh, old retro used stuff that people traded in, up to new stuff of today, like PS4 and Xbox One and new and used uh, so you can find all kinds of stuff music lps cds vhs dvds blu-rays games pop figures all kinds of stuff so it's fun to look around and spend some time in there just seeing everything and uh but something they always do in every kind of department is they have these mystery bags in this case some loose video games in a bag um and they'll do movies and other things even toys and stuff and I've always been curious about what they put in these. And so I decided this time, since I didn't see much of anything I wanted to buy, was I was going to get a few of these. Now I got a, this one is PS1 games, and it was $2.97 for the bag of loose PS1 games. We got some Xbox games for $2.97 here. And we got Wii games for, these ones were $4.97. They had Xbox One that was like eight dollars and something because um, they're more modern so a little bit more pricier but they had 360 as well but I have a lot of 360 games so I wanted to get some things where it might be some things I didn't I don't have and uh, something to check out and I want to see I'm curious to see if uh, I got my money's worth or I actually got more um, so let's take a look at these and let's find out so let's go with the uh, the Wii the more expensive one here 497 and open it up and see what we got. All right, pull these out here. All right, so off the bat, we're off to a good start. Note the sarcasm. Uh, we got a copy of We Fit. Loose copy of We Fit. All right, I'll obviously put up what the loose disc price of that is. The disc is in pretty good shape, not bad. So we fit. I think I already have that from the Wii board. Um, okay, so this one, I know sometimes these can be kind of uh, pricey. Um, some titles, I'm not sure. This is Skylanders Spyro's Adventure. So on the Wii, Skylanders Spyro Adventures. So uh, yeah, well, I'll have on the screen what this goes for loose. And we'll see how we get this one. This looks okay. No, it's not perfect, but okay. So this is U Draw Studio. Now this one, I believe you need a special controller, the U Draw U Draw tablet, which I have for the PS3, but not for the Wii. But U Draw Studio on the Wii, there. And we got oh, oh here we go. Jillian Michaels Fitness Alt Ultium. Ult Ultimatum, Ultimatum 2009. Woo, we're off to a great start here, guys. Woo awesome. My pain is your pleasure, guys. Uh, let's see. Here we got another Skylanders Trap Team on the Wii. Skylanders Trap Team. So we'll have a total of this bag, what I paid, which is $4.97, and what the games are worth. All right, so next up, let's do the let's do the Xbox, two ninety seven. So free bucks, and there's no tax in New Hampshire, so that's exactly what I paid. Um, no sales tax. So let's see what we got on the Xbox for three bucks, basically. Put it down, got them upside down, so I can't see. We'll go reverse order here. We got. Oh, okay, this is cool. Medal of Honor Frontline for the original Xbox. There, that's cool. I'll have the price up on that. This looks decent, doesn't look bad. Next up, we got okay, this is what I expected to get. 
Madden 2004 on the Xbox. There. Next, we got Madden 2005. All right. <laughs> you know I was going to get a bunch of sports. Let's see. Ooh, this one's in rough shape. Amped 2. Why couldn't it have been a Madden? It was scratched up. Amped 2. I don't know if this is going to pick up on the camera, but that's that that one's the roughest shape one so far. And then last, this one's a little scratchy up too. Dance Dance Revolution Ultra Mix. Ooh. Stellar. <laughs> So I will have the price of uh, the total price of all those discs, what they are worth, and what I paid for, it. and we'll see if I'm in the green or the red here, uh, or the black rather. Next up, our last one here is PS1 games for three bucks. PS1. I bet it's gonna be like a bunch of sports titles. My guess. All right, I'm gonna make sure they're upside down. Right, and the first one is woohoo! Triple play, EA Triple Play Baseball. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> Ooh, this one's rough. Let's see. We got okay. This is kind of cool. SmackDown WWE SmackDown. Awesome. Oh, WWF. This is before the WWE. All right, WWF SmackDown for PlayStation 1. Again, prices will be up, what they're worth. And let's see here. We got Ain't it NHL 98 for the PS1. Awesome. <laughs> and, oh, two more. We got, okay. <laughs> Final Fantasy 8 Disc 2. Okay, so the Final Fantasy VIII, Disc 2, pretty rough shape. Now, question is, this last one, is it Disc 1? Will I even be able to play that? I think we already own it anyways, but <laughs> my wife would definitely own that one. But let's see, what did we get? No, we can't even play it. We can't even play it because we got Monopoly on the PS1. <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious. So, yeah, so I don't even know what the, the value of disc 2 of a game that requires two discs would be. But uh, yeah, that's, um, so that was basically, yeah, I was always curious what they put in those mystery box uh, bags. Uh, like I said, they do it for music, they do it for the movies, you can get uh, like a bag of loose DVDs. Um, and uh, I think they even have Blu-ray ones and just pretty much every I think they even have toy mystery bags and stuff so they're kind of fun kind of neat I wanted to try it out see what it was like um, what do you guys think do you think it was worth it or not I don't know <laughs> it was fun though I do appreciate it and again my suffering is your enjoyment <laughs> so until next time guys this is 8 Glitch 79 and I'm glitching out